On the mainland coast of British Columbia, north of Vancouver Island and south of the Alaska Panhandle, are some of the largest remaining ancient rainforests in North America. These faraway places embrace the few remaining enclaves of a wildness that is part of the forgotten soul of this continent. Here the sun is often hidden and clouds, rain and clear rich waters speak an undeniable truth, which is echoed by the presence of the wild salmon and its connection to the vitality, abundance and magic of Canada's rain coast. Because this region is so remote, so wild, its biological treasures have been barely recorded and rarely championed. Now, that's beginning to change. In the midst of this wilderness, in Coots Inlet, the clouds have lifted. The morning warms with anticipation. Today, Peter McAllister and Bernadette Mertens are exploring the Coots River. Together, they spearhead the Rain Coast Conservation Society, one of several environmental groups dedicated to making the world more aware of this region, its issues, its beauty, and its wildlife. It's a water oozer or a dipper, and he, he goes and gets the salmon eggs. And I'm going to try and get a little closer. That's wonderful. You can, you can see this flashing eyelid. This is a place for nature, for bears, for salmon, for ancient trees, for silence. It's a very precious kind of an ecosystem because each one of these wild river valleys is like an oasis, an ecological oasis. And if there's salmon, we know there's everything else. Eagles, seals, um, probably bears. Fighting through water filtered by hemlock, moss, and forest floor, each species of wild salmon celebrates the richness of these rivers. As they race upstream, carrying the seeds of a new generation, the salmon complete an intricate cycle that began at birth in this stream, in this rainforest. An ancient passage that may soon disappear. The reason is that almost every one of these wild river valleys, these rare, precious natural treasures are on the chopping block. The environmental clock is ticking as our demand for timber products continues to make its mark here. Even with better logging methods and new regulations, these old growth forests keep disappearing. Streams and rivers need protection from erosion and silting caused by clear cuts and road building. Surrounding wildlife needs safe havens. So, in these remaining special valleys, should we be logging at all if it affects critical links in the chain of life here? Consistently, we're seeing declines in most of these rivers. Coho, Sockeye, Chinook. These are their last sanctuaries, these wild, pristine river valleys. And salmon is really the basic of this coast. If there's no salmon, there will be nothing. What will be the fate of the wild salmon? What will happen to all these creatures and our own natural heritage if the spell of the rain coast is broken? I mean, these are unique, rare things in the world. What right does, does man have to destroy it? From what we see as sacred and what we see as necessity come hard questions. Wild salmon and wild places depend on our answers. <laughs> <laughs>